Hey, what's up guys? I've been trying to change my sleeping habits. I've been trying to improve my sleep. So they say that I have hyperthyroid and my sleep is pretty bad. So I probably get like five to six hours of sleep, broken sleep, because uh, sometimes I have to wake up and go to the bathroom and it's hard for me to fall back asleep. So I'm trying to intake my, my liquid intake and it's about six. So they, they say like two hours before you go to sleep, um, stop drinking water and also for my glasses um, they have like a blue light blocker also the laptop your cell phone should have it too so may make sure that if you're having trouble sleeping um, try and set those things so that and use less electronics like right before you sleep try and sleep a little bit early because it can influence the quality of day that you will have into the next day, like your mood, it, it could determine the longevity of your life. So, also for your your vision, um, I noticed for me when when I was in college, I was probably like twenty. Um, I went to college when I was about twenty. I didn't go out when I was eighteen, because uh, I failed the first grade, and then I repeated or I, I asked my guidance counselor, "Can I stay back?" when I was in 12th grade because I was trying to save up money and I wanted to go to a vocational school. So I ended up doing, when I was a senior, I did nursing, like a uh, certified nurse aide. I probably should have done nursing, but I didn't pursue that at the time. And then the extra year that I stayed back at it, auto mechanics and computer science. So for my vision, when, when I went to college, I noticed that when you sit in the big lecture centers, that my vision, it will be bad. So if, if you have to strain and, and you notice that your vision isn't that good, and keep in mind that my vision, it's like negative 0 0.35. So it's not that bad. If I don't have glasses, it's all good. But me me wearing glasses, it, it's perfect pretty much. So uh, why, why wouldn't you want to see with perfect vision? Your eyesight is, you know, one of the best senses you will ever have. And also for uh, for sunglasses, if you could get prescription sunglasses, why not, you know? So then, this is what I wrote. Um, I was listening to the book. It's that micro habit book. It's the compounding effect. And I also was listening to a, a different book. It's uh, a Brian Tracy book and that's the power of self-confidence. And they, both of them were saying, uh, success isn't something that you pursue, it's something that you become. And you would have to embody these attributes to be able to gain these opportunities and relationships that will be of value, available to you when you get to that level. So essentially, you're attracting mirrors of yourself. So um, imagine yourself when you're 10 years old, 20, 30, 40, whatever. So just say, for example, when I was 20, like what kind of person, what I would be attracting, what kind of friends, business opportunities, romantic relationships would I be attracting versus now. And I, I do understand that everybody's on their own level and Everybody will have their own challenges, but just, just do the best that you could do. Um, we're within your, within your availability. We're within your, you know, your grasp. Uh, be, be aware of the things that you're doing so that if, if you did want to change, you could change. Because I noticed that uh, when I was young, I, I wasn't necessarily aware of how I was talking. And it, it was, it's kind of negative because I, I could see... Uh, some of my friends or some of my coworkers where they would just be kind of negative and it's like wow why focus on that kind of stuff when you know you you could focus on good things because I, I actually had to go into the office today and it was like an hour there an hour back so I, I got to drive my car you know top down music I, I was actually listening to audiobooks and I, I just said to myself it's going to be a good day and then I, I tried to take a picture of myself smiling at the office, but I was fake smiling. And then I just put the camera down and, and then I, I thought about it and, and it was kind of funny. 
that I'm always trying to fake a smile and then I started to smile for real so and then I, I captured the picture but I just, just try and focus on like the good things that you have so I'm, I live in California the weather is really good I work for a, a great company they have a lot of perks they just so happened to buy, you know, lunch for the people that, that showed up for today. Um, I, I appreciate all of my team members because they're all pretty smart. They're easy to work with. They're, they have great communication. They, they show a level of care when, when I ask them questions or when, whenever I need help from them. So I, they, these are things that, that I appreciate. Um, I appreciate my my brother Joel. He he takes care of uh, you know, he takes care of me and I take care of him and that's all stuff like that. It's a give and take. These kinds of relationships. So just just see yourself from you know 10, 20, 30, 40, and just see how how much you've grown, how far you've come, and just give yourself all of the credit that you know you deserve, and because. There, you know, you had a lot of tough times and just think about all of the times that you've fallen and you got back up and there, you're a fighter. That, well, whatever you want to get in life, you can get it. Because I was thinking that my, my parents, they did the best that they could. They, they came from Vietnam. They escaped the war. They were born during the war. And they came to this country. They didn't speak English and they started working as soon as they got here. And I'm assuming that uh, their families, whatever they learn, they learn from the past. So I, I, I learned from my parents, but we, we have the opportunity, we have technology. So, well, whatever you want to learn, wherever you want to go, you have the opportunity to do it. And don't, don't waste this opportunity because I, I was thinking that, uh, well, what if I was born a fruit fly or what if I, what if I was born? you know, born a cat, you know. Um, I went on a walk and, and I, I was looking at a cat and he was hanging out next to the bush. And, and I think he was trying to catch something. So we're, 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 we're a smart species. And, and I think so, sometimes we're a little too smart. Uh, always have an open mind, open heart, and be open to change. Because we're, we're not perfect, even though we think what we're doing is the best the, the the best things that, that we could be doing but you know I, I would admit to you that I have a lot of problems a lot of things that I wanted to fix and uh, so, sometimes uh, when, when I'm talking to my mom about these, these kinds of things that uh, maybe she would be a little offended and she said oh you know you, you think you're better than me and, and I said it's not true because I, I, I want to fall in love with myself and I want you to love yourself too because it, it's not something that I could give to you. I, I can't give you love. I can't make you love yourself and I can't, you know, right right now I can't make myself love myself. But I was talking to my jujitsu coach and he was like, oh, you know, look at your body, look at the things that you have, your opportunities. Uh, you know, you're, you're a pretty good looking guy. You have talent. So why, why don't you love yourself? And I was thinking that, yeah, you know, you you grew up with your mother and she taught you how to love yourself, you know, and, and I just didn't have it. So now, now I'm trying to teach myself how to love myself. And even though I met my mother, I, I thought that she would fill the void in my heart, but she doesn't, you know, because everything comes with inside you. It comes within your heart. And it's important to love yourself because... If you don't love yourself, nobody else is going to be able to love yourself because uh, how you feel about yourself is how you're going to present yourself to the world. So just think of yourself as a video game. Like, well, what character do you want to be? You could be anybody, you know? Like my, my height, I can't change it. But my intelligence, uh, my grit, uh, my smile, my looks, whatever, my, my fashion, I, I could try to change it. My income, I could change it. So just, just be open-minded to these things and uh, believe in yourself. Uh, see see all of your accomplishments and go go for what you really want to learn. Figure it out because if, if you don't, then you will regret it later.